Its name means future in Japanese, and it's been in production now for four years, although on sale in the US and Europe for a shorter period of time. And while it is a zero emission full size electric vehicle, it's not had any of the same sales successes as other electric vehicles in EV friendly places like California. I am, of course, talking about the Toyota Mirai, Toyota's first production hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. And while its existence and the existence of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles as a whole is something of a contentious issue in the electric car world, there's something rather interesting happening right now in California, which is worthy of note that involves a Toyota Mirai. Namely, the number of Mirais that are being returned at the end of their lease period and then being resold on the used car market. Or rather, the handful of Mirais that I've seen for sale online that are listed at a price that shows a massive depreciation over the past two or three years since they were new. And those cars being offered for sale as pre-certified Toyotas complete with fueling cards that the dealership I talked to said is good for up to $15,000 worth of free fuel. 15,000. Let's get back to the beginning. When sales of the Mirai began in the US, uh, I mean California, in 2015, the Mirai was given a list price of $57,500 US dollars before incentives or any mandatory delivery charges. It was also available to lease for $3,649 US dollars down and $499 per month for 36 months. For that, you got a four-seat full-size sedan capable of an EPA-approved 312 miles of range per fill at around 66 miles per gallon equivalent. Fueling, at least according to Toyota at the time, was said to take between three and five minutes per fill at an appropriately equipped hydrogen fueling station. Fast forward to today, 2019, and the Mirai is still available if you're in the San Francisco Bay or Los Angeles areas of California. Now its list price has risen to $58,500 US dollars before incentives brand new. But a couple of weeks ago, we and some of you guys started to notice used Mirai fuel cell sedans with odometer readings around the 30,000 mile mark popping up on listing sites like eBay and cars.com. The strange thing, they were being listed for prices in the high teens to low 20s, equivalent to nearly $40,000 of depreciation over the two or three years since they were brand new. So after enough of you asked and my interest was piqued, I decided to do some digging. On calling one of the dealerships in question, I was told that these are lease return Toyota Mirais, which have been given a full bill of health by Toyota under its certified pre-owned vehicle program. They're then being put up for sale on the used car market at what seems to be an unbelievably low price. And I do mean unbelievably low. For example, my 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV LT, with a much lower MSRP in the 30s when I took it up lease-wise about two years ago, is currently worth about $24,000 today on the open market. That's a lot more than these Mirais are worth, and it was a lot less to buy brand new. What's even crazier is the fact that Toyota is apparently offering those who buy these used Mirais a free fueling card worth up to $15,000, something I was told would be good for a few years worth of fuel. <laughs> That's right, these are $19,000 and $20,000 used hydrogen fuel cell cars being sold with a free $15,000 refueling card. On the face of it, you would have to be a little cuckoo bananas to pass them up, or would you? You see, in order to own one of these cars, you'd need to live in one of those two regions of California that I've just mentioned. And you also need to make sure that you don't drive out of range of a filling station because you can't just plug a hydrogen fuel cell car in. Second, like the early Wild West days of EVs, the refueling infrastructure for hydrogen fuel cell cars today isn't very comprehensive or very reliable. Sure, there are now more hydrogen fueling stations today in California than there were two or three years ago, but the network is still plagued with problems. In June this year, the entire San Francisco Bay Area was out of refueling stations after there was an issue with a fire at a distribution center, and that caused a hydrogen fuel shortage. And then there's the cost of fueling once your refueling card is empty. Right now, hydrogen fuel costs anywhere between $13 and $16 per kilogram which is the equivalent of about paying $6 per gallon for gasoline. 
and that's for hydrogen fuel, which we should acknowledge for the most part has been produced by steam reforming natural gas. If you're paying $6 per gallon equivalent, that means that you'd be paying around $28 to fill up to travel those 312 miles. $28 of fueling in something like a Tesla Model S 100D would get you 330 miles if, and only if, you only recharged from empty to full at a supercharger station. But if we use the average US price per kilowatt hour of 13.31 cents for residential customers, well, you're looking at doubling that range at least, maybe even more. In short then, if you're in the Southern California or the San Francisco Bay Area and you're in the market for a used car, maybe the Toyota Mirai could be a choice for you, especially if you want to make use of those free refueling cards and you don't mind where the fuel comes from and you have an alternative vehicle for long distance trips. But honestly, I think you're probably going to have a better experience right now going with a used electric car instead. Sure, hydrogen does have its place, but these Marais seem to be on fire sale to me for a very good reason. That's it. Thanks for joining me and see you next time. Music